Wouldn't time travel be great? Let's have a look at this hypothetical scenario, then go back in time and fix it. Time warp. So, we're going back in time to the actual flight you just saw. This is just a scenario. I'm not a 737 pilot. That's just for X-Plane simulated hypothetical uh, scenarios. So, let's have a look and see what happened. Well, first of all, the very first thing, let's have a look at our mass and balance. Okay, so, weight and balance. Now, if you see here, this is all how we do our mass and balance. I'm going to leave the center of gravity for the moment. Look at the payload weight here. I'm way overweight. The, I'm over the maximum allowable weight with passengers, fuel, etc. on the aircraft. Now, that's not good for starters, okay? So I'm going to leave it there, okay? Now, why is that a bad thing? Well, weight is a bad thing in this case because, well, when you've got a heavy aircraft, you've got to stop the aircraft, right? So you want to get the wheels on the runway and you want to start braking. But if you're a heavy aircraft, it's going to take a long time to stop. Think of a truck on a road, a big articulated lorry. It's got to stop. It takes a long time for that lorry to stop because of all the weight, all the momentum of the, the vehicle. So that's uno problem right so that's the first problem so let's do that and do the rest of the talking as we're flying okay that changes on pause there so this is the recording you've just seen this is what you've just seen okay that last shot so let's get some gears down flappage uh, we put on a bit of auto braking we leave it on two okay uh, and I get the pedals as well so this is a bit of an unstable approach that's another problem because I'm late, I've got someone waiting for me in the pub and I want to get in and I don't want to waste any time by going around. Airline pilots apparently are only allowed to go around twice then they have to divert to another airfield. So that's another issue that this particular pilot is having today. The other thing is uh, that I mentioned the acuplaning. Uh, the acuplaning is we've got water on the runway. An acuplaning when it's a film of water 
in between the tyre and the runway, just like in a car. So, uh, think of a car, if you go through a puddle, too high, too fast, I think. Um, if you go over a puddle on a road, at speed, you've got this film of water in between the tyre and the road, and you just slide off the road. Same in an aircraft, so we should really be doing a firm landing. Get those wheels on the asphalt, get contact with the runway. But I'm going to do a nice smoothie, smoothie, floaty, floaty runway that all passengers love. Okay, so we're going to do that. So now I'm going to concentrate as I get closer, okay? Very unstable approach, very too high, unacceptable. I should be going around, but I'm not going to go around, you see. So that's fine. But this is a flight simulator, okay? This is hypothetical, a bit of fun. Now, I'm going to concentrate, just turn up my volume a bit so I can hear them. Because I'm used to landing in a Cessna or a slide twin. I might be too late. So 100 feet. I'm going to hold her off. Hold her off, hold her off. Get a nice smooth landing. Nice smooth landing. Put her. Full reverse. Full brakes. I've got full brakes now. Fully forward the control column. 135 knots. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go right off to the end of the runway. Right off the end. Full brakes. That's 100 knots off the end into the water. And But we could use this scenario. Everybody survived. We're all rescued and everything is fine and everybody learned a lesson. This is a flight simulator, guys, okay? So there we go. So let's see if I can change that scenario into making a full stop in this very, very short runway. 77 would never land here, by the way. That's the challenge for me today, is to actually, with the same conditions, make a full stop landing safely before the end of the runway. And let's have a look at that and see. Next, a word from our sponsors. Oh, wait, I don't have any sponsors. Booker. I'm back. But this time, I'm going to land before the end of the runway. I'm going to change just two things. I'm not going to change the weather. Just two things. First one is... Weight and balance. By the way, there's no wind on this scenario, if I haven't said it already. I do have a habit of repeating myself. So, uh, we're overweight. No, not anymore. Okay, so I'm going to take off the payload. Take off a good bit of fuel, because we're already coming into land. So yeah, I'll leave it just below the maximum. Okay, about there. Now, the good news is, in reality, there's a huge amount of work that goes into this in the airlines. A huge amount of work. Before the crew get on the airplane, they know exactly when they're going to stop according to the runway they're landing on, which is great news. So there's a huge science to this. When you learn about it, it's absolutely fa f it's fascinating, really. So that's the good news, right? Done. That's the first thing, by changes. Let's unpause it. It's just thrown me here on final. It's a, it's a visual approach. So I'm not going to do any procedures or anything like that. I'm just gonna get the gear down. And some flappage. Now I'm gonna land with full flaps this time. Full flaps. Okay, so just try to get everything stable here. Visual approach. I'm eyeballing it. I'm doing what's called, that looks about right. Okay, that looks about right. Uh, so, oh, 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 oh. Right, okay, fine. Let's get more flaps down. I'm getting all the flaps down, gears down already. I've got to watch that speed for the flaps. There we go, that's nice. Fine, I see the runway now. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to aim for about 145 knots, maybe 150. Because I've got all the flaps down. Flaps, I can simply fly slower, safer. Right? Uh, so that's the key, to land slower with less weight. Now because I have less weight, I don't need to generate so much lift from the wings so I can fly slower. Which means my ground speed is slower. Happy days. So, all good. Now, it's going to start moaning about me um, sinking. I'm too high. I go around, possibly, in this one. But let's just keep going. It's a flight sim after all. We're just having a bit of fun. 150 knots. Let's use another five, shall we? 500 feet. There we go. And there we go. Happy light. All good. Oh, very nice. Getting ready for the brakes. Oh, don't take my eyes off the fucking runway. There we go. Now, remember, firm landing. Firm landing. Get out of the centre line, Shane. There we go. Full brakes. 
reverse thrust. Make sure I have the reverse thrust. No, I don't. There is reverse. Full braking. Get on the center line. It's all good. Am I going to stop? Please stop. Please don't make me do this again. Please stop. 50 knots. Please stop. Reverse on. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Thank God for that. Off the old reverses there. Park and brake set. And all the other stuff you do. So there you go. Makes all the difference, doesn't it? I went flying off the end of the runway the last time, and it was shocking. So there you go. Hope you found something new, and try that in your flight sim at home. Uh, it's great fun. Try it and take off. Next week, I might do a video on why carriers do firm landings. That'd be interesting. Uh, and that's it. I'll try and fit another video during the week, as I always try to. Time's an issue. And that's it for this week of the Reaction Review. Thanks a million for watching, and thanks a million for all your lovely comments. But before I go... One more thing. Okay. Now, up again. I'm way too high, and I've got to do the whole f***ing shot all over again, which is f***ing fantastic. Recording, sound. No! Oh! Where's the f***ing rain? Where is the f***ing rain gone? Bugger! This will stop now. I'll have to do this take all over again, and I won't be happy. I'll not be happy. Please stop. Please don't make me do this all over again. It's late at night. Please stop. The beginning of the runway there. We're going to land right at the beginning. Speed's looking okay. Top it off the power. Driving it in a bit. Hold on. Hold it off. Oh, I that one up. And now I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Fantastic. Mmm. Trim, 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 trim. So I'm going to stop talking here for a minute and just concentrate. Hundred feet. Yeah, nice. Nice. Floaty, floaty landing. That was not a floaty, floaty landing! Now we need to come down, we're getting too high here, and we have to do the whole shot all over again. And I'm way off the runway, and I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Just fantastic. That's just brilliant, that is. <laughs> do let me know. Um, if you like this video, you know, um, do comment, give me ideas, tell me what you like, what you don't like, and uh, that'll improve the channel. So that'd be great. So hit the like button, maybe. Oh, by the way, no kittens have been harmed in the making of this video.